Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of our favorite brands of fifth wheels, the Keystone Alpine. This one, we've never shown on the show before. It is their smallest, most compact version with an outside kitchen. This is the 2023 Keystone Alpine 3102 RL. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Alpine and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited that we are taking a look at this awesome, compact, but still super luxurious Alpine. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. how's it going today? It's going good. Guys, we're so excited. The Ocala RV show is coming up. It is just around the corner next week, and um, we cannot wait to see you guys there. It is March 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Yes. One mile up the road, Will, at the just Ocala right Horse Park. Yep, and we will be there um, the the, uh, all every day except for Sunday. Yes. But of course you guys can still get Matt's cash on Sunday. Guys, and we have special limited edition Matt's cash. Yes. Exclusive for the Ocala show, guys. This is the final FRVTA show of the season. And I promise you guys, we are going to blow it out of the water with amazing units and sale prices and deals. We can't wait to see everybody. If you've been thinking about getting an RV, make sure you come to Ocala. Will. This unit's gonna be at Ocala. Yes. This is model 3102RL. The actual tip, tip length is 35 feet, nine inches. This is the Alpine. The dry weight is 12,700 pounds and the hitch weight is 2,450 pounds. Well, this is Keystone's top of the line. This is sister products to the Montana. Right. Right up here, we do have a very nice painted fiberglass front cap. Alpine, you got the hitch vision there. Uh, you can get the optional full body paint. Yep. Underneath here is Okay, the, don't touch that because yeah, there's wasps wasp. flying around. Yeah. Right on right over here is the road armor trailer pin box. Okay. Okay. And I know, right? <laughs> right. Right here you got the cutouts. And I know this is prep for a generator. <laughs> And then here, you can see uh, your electric controllers and your reservoir for your hydraulic leveling. Okay. Well, this is six point hydraulic auto leveling, which is super nice. Coming on down, you can see the frameless windows, nice power awning with LED lights. There's also a power awning with LED lights on the slide out there. Okay. A little place for a ZAMP solar panel and then Will. Yeah. Will, why didn't you hook up the jump box, Will? Because we need that for the lights on. We don't, because it's got two 100 amp lithium batteries. What does that mean? It means you can run the light. So lithium just is gonna give you better power, longer. Um, so you can run the lights a lot longer than your typical batteries and you don't need a jump box. So you're telling me this unit's just been sitting on our lot for a month. Yep. And the lights still turn on and off? That's right. Man, freaking fantastic. That combined with the solar. Yes, with the solar. Right over here, Will, we do have decent storage. Now, you guys might be looking at this saying it's not too big, but you got to remember, this is a small fifth wheel. Yeah. Tie downs there in the in-command uh, the in -command system right there, which is the brains. Yep. And then right there, you can see that it is prepped for the side Furion marker lights. Okay. We do have the Lipper solid steps here, hydraulic assisted, Will. Nice. You know why I love these? Why? Because these steps are heavy. Yeah. They lock into place like that. And then let's say you drop them, you're like, oh! You know what's funny me. is everybody saw you two days ago, we got our new fifth wheel. Yeah. And of course all our parents and family, and even Jen, I've been getting her. And they're all like, oh, let's see the inside. And I do that every time I pull the steps down and I'm like, oh! Right. And then it stops and they, they all get scared. It's funny. Right here, we have a nice big grab handle. This has the polar package, Solar Flex 200, nice big grab handle right here. Okay. And then look at these tires, Will, they're the high specs, Oracles, 235-80R16, with the Road Armor Trail Air Suspension there. Cool. Coming on down the side here, Will, this is what's very unique. An outside kitchen. You don't get this on couples fifth wheels. Right. And you definitely don't get this on like the higher end fifth wheels. Yep. 
So I love how they're giving it to you on this. Right. Very That's nice. Top light right there. A little bit of storage. Okay. LED lights right there. Very nice. All right. Coming around the back, well, there's a ladder to get up on the one-piece TPO roof. It is prepped for the backup camera there. And you have a 3,000 pound hitch with four pin connector. So technically you can tow behind this, but technically we never recommend that. Yeah, that's right. Right here, I freaking love this. Right. 50 amp power cord with an electric reel. Love that, these power cords, they're big and heavy. So the fact that I could just push a button, freaking love that. Um, come finishing up. You got a place to store your stinky slinky right there. That's where you dump your tanks. Okay. You can see this really nice instant hot tankless water heater. And here's all your hookups. Outdoor shower, potable water fill, potable, potable. Black gray tank, black tank flush. Everything's right there. Other side of that storage. Okay. And then here, it's gonna be your propane tanks. Nice, I like how they did that right next to each other. Yep, and then right here is your auto leveling controls. Cool. Well, well, the outside of the Alpine looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. All right. I can't wait to meet everybody in Ocala. I know, it's gonna be a great show. All right. Even if people don't live in Ocala, if they're ready to buy, they're going to want to call us next week. Yeah, this is the show to travel to. It is. Bathroom right here. Coming down. Kitchen right here. Nice middle kitchen. Dining, dining area and living area in the back. I love it, Will. And before we start, we are going to start back here. Let's give a big shout out to our sponsor. This episode is sponsored by Kurt. There's a reason why manufacturers are all switching over to the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Jen and I went with the Kurt A16 fifth wheel hitch. Uh, this is perfect for our truck because we do have a short bed and it's on the slider. And it also makes it very user friendly with the red, yellow, and green symbols telling you whether it's safe to tow or not. With this hitch, it also, it wraps around the pin of the fifth wheel hitch so that it has the best connection and makes for the smoothest ride. This hitch also articulates in each direction so that you have much less chucking while going down the road. Making it a smoother ride and the best riding experience when yes. towing a fifth wheel. That's why Will chose the Kurt A16. That's why the manufacturers are using the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Thank you so much for Kurt for sponsoring yes, this video. Let's continue the video. All right, well, starting back here, show us this beautiful, awesome cabinetry. Yeah, that's one really nice thing with the Alpine, is that has really good cabinetry, solid wood cabinets, everything is solid wood, everything. storage up top. Now, listen, in an avalanche, this won't be wood. Right, just the, the doors, doors wood, right? Yes, but this, everything's wood. Yeah. Very nice, check out these uh, valances here. Yeah. Uh, kind of three-way color. We got daytime shades and privacy shades. There you go. All slow rise. We got a place to charge your phone. Okay. Power outlets here. Very nice. Well, this is definitely wide body. Right. Try Very to push nice. inside full. Yes, and we are going to show what it looks like okay. with it all the way out. You know why, Will? Because America. Yes, sir. You want me to do the TV area? Nope. Okay. I want people to watch. Okay. America. Actually, somebody asked me to sing something. So I'm at the Jacksonville show. What he asked me to sing. I forget the song. But it was like a really funny song. Bada bing, bada freaking boom, Will. There you go. That is a very nice trifold, and I think I could make that work. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. And then just like this. Now you can show the TV. Okay. Nice cabinet space above the TV right here. I really like that. You can put a PlayStation or DVD player, whatever you need in there. Nice Jensen TV with a Jensen sound system right there. And then a Furion, not Furion, it doesn't say what brand, a fireplace that does produce heat from electricity. Well, I don't care what brand of fireplace that is. I know. It's nice because it will heat this baby up. Right. Right over here, well, I got the theater seats. Okay. Bam, parachute. Bam, Thomas Paine collection. Comfortable. 
place for the remotes right here, okay? Cup holders here. Heated chairs, USB, and I don't even want to call it a massager chair. I'll call it a vibrating chair. Right. What is nice, you do have a ceiling fan there. I do like that actually a lot. Yes, sir. This does have two AC units, but it is prepped for the third air conditioning right. unit. And here's something that I really do love. Big boy dining. I know. You know what I'm saying? Here, I'll sit over here. Yeah. Tons of space. Like, I'm comfortable on my side, and then you're more than comfortable on your side. This is great. This you, is too far away. Like, you got to scoot it in a little, actually. Right. Like, no, I mean, this is perfect, right? Because, like, I'm eating here, and then Yuna is sitting here catching my food right. as it's coming down. So, I mean, this is a very impressive dinette. Mo more times than not, when it comes to dinettes, this is what gets neglected. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right there, we have a nice light fixture. Okay. It's Art Deco. And just really, really nice overall. Will, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. We're going to do a sitting down. Okay. MSRP on this unit here, stock number 283857, is $121,398. Will, that is MSRP. Okay. Sale price, Jen, please show the sale price right there. America, that is the everyday sale price. And if you're interested in getting this, I think we can do a little bit better than that. All you got to do is go to generalrv.com slash matscash. I've linked that website down below or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to my team and my team is going to get you the absolute best price in America. Or come to the Ocala RV Show, March 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. We're going to have this actual unit, this actual stock number there. This one might not be there, but it'll be at the dealership a mile down the road. And we are going to get everybody the absolute best price in America, Will. That's right. You know why? Why? Because we are. <laughs> That's all there is to it. <laughs> Easy breezy. You know why, Will? Because I'm putting my name yep. on the Ocala show. People know me as Matt's RV Reviews. People know me as General RV. But people really know me as General RV Ocala. And yep. I made a promise. I... I said, they will come. I will get you there to the show if you guys promise to get my people phenomenal prices. That's and right. you know what they said? They said, okay, let's do it. <laughs> come on down. Will, show us this kitchen. All right. We'll start right over here. Nice storage around this microwave here. Very nice. And then this microwave is a nice convection microwave by Insignia. All right. I really like this backsplash they did here. It's not hand laid, but it looks very detailed like it would be hand laid. Yep, very nice. A little bit of countertop space, power, not really countertop space over there, but you do have a nice big four burner insignia cooked up there. A couple drawers here, mm -hmm. and then a nice big residential oven as well. Turkey tested. Turkey approved. <laughs> very nice. Over here on the kitchen island, pretty big kitchen island for the size fifth wheel that it is. Nice extension faucet. Double bowl sink with the big and the little sink. Solid surface countertops. Oh yeah. Couple drawers here. Oh yeah. Pull out drawer here. Very nice. Hey, that's $156 trash can. And there's two of them. Not, not next weekend. Well, those trash cans will be free. That's right. Dang right. Storage right here. Yes, sir. And then nice wine rack up there. I'm loving it. Right above the residential. A uh, Samsung refrigerator mm. and freezer right here. I'm loving it. Yeah. And then this is something that's really cool as well. This is almost like a walk-in pantry. Um, so you, first you get good storage. There's a light. Turn the light on. Nice um, big storage right here, mm -hmm. right? And it's gonna be hard for you to see, but it's kind of all the way around. It's not hard to see. Okay, good. And then I kind of like this because you can yep. do like your coffee bar in here and tuck it away. Yep, yep. You know, put some appliances or whatever you need. And then you have storage underneath as well. I like it, Well, I like it a lot. Yep. Cool. Let's check out that shower. All right. Now, I don't know. Well, first, there's a place for you to sit and put your shoes on. Yeah. One, two, buckle your shoe. This is a small unit, so it might be radius, but I hope it's not. It's not. Nope. It's Encore. Of course. Of course it is. Yep. You get the skylight in the good spot, plenty of head height, plenty of width. 
Nice seat and plenty of depth. This definitely passes. Bing! That's a shower test seal of approval right, right there. Right over here, we do have... What's so funny? <laughs> Did you fart? No. Nice porcelain toilet there, which is super nice. Very, very comfortable, Will. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! Very nice. What's so funny? And then over here, we do have storage right there. A nice sink, solid surface countertop as well. Storage under the sink. And then right here's the medicine cabinet. Oh, we liquefied our brand of RV toilet treatment. Guys, thank you so much to everybody has been buying this. Uh, we sell it on Amazon. Just go to primepoopmusician.com and pick up a bottle. It is truthfully the best brand of RV toilet treatment in the industry. Wrapping up here, Will. First things first another place to sit and put your shoe on this is super important king size bed on the slide out right two windows mm. on both sides nice headboard look at this huge closet area yeah this is a nice big closet um washer and dryer prepped right here mm. there is power on both sides power outlets down yep. there and you can have like the double shelf there whoops and then check out this huge storage that's awesome not only that will very simplistic bedroom not a lot going on right. here but again, I truthfully don't mind that. Nice big drawers all the way down. Okay. And a TV right here. TV right there. And oh, oh. snap. And secret storage right secret there. Secret storage, because you can never have enough. That's right. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love about this unit, three things we don't like. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike first yeah are you okay with that yeah first things first i'm gonna say just the size of the bathroom it's pretty tight it's a small bathroom yeah um Especially nothing's for wrong pro. nothing's wrong with it and it's a small fifth wheel yeah but you know it's just overall that's just a smaller bathroom yeah that's number one well dislike number two okay come down here i think i have one down here so this isn't the worst design i've, I've ever seen but like I don't like this layout of having the TV on this side. Really? No, because I like the nice big windows on your camping Understood. side. Understood. And that takes from it. But this is give and take, guys. There's a lot of people who also want that outside kitchen. But we'll talk about that in just a moment, yep. Will. And the floor plan that I'm talking about won't have that outside kitchen. Unless so. you have the outside kitchen near your sewer system. Right, right, yeah. That'd be smart. Yeah. No, they don't make that. That's number two. And then, well, number three for me, I love this. Uh, this is gonna sound stupid. I don't like the doors it's, in here. It's awkward. Yeah, well, like, why, why, why do you need a double door? And know? what I did was, like, I opened this, and I'll be careful now, but I can just see, like, you open it, and then it hits that really or hard. Or, like, pinch your fingers or, or something. Pinch your finger, yeah. Like, here's the door. You don't need more doors. It's just right. be shelving. Yeah. Well, very simple. That's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. Will, number one for me is gonna be the outside kitchen. For sure. Only because you made it your dislike, but I'm gonna combo that on the outside with that 50 amp power cord. Right. right. I freaking love that. High fashion, super nice. Great creature comforts. That's number one. Will, what's this like number two? You mean like number two? Yes, even better. Like number two for me is even though this is a shorter fifth wheel, um, they still included a lot of the full pro features in your kitchen, like that large convection microwave, yes. big four burner insignia cooktop in the residential refrigerator. Well, I'm going to combo that with the nice light fixtures and yep. the ceiling fans. Again, it's small, but it's high end. And number three, well, I know it's going to sound a little lame, but I'm doing it. Um, I love the size of the dinette for how small this unit is, or for just being a fifth wheel overall, for it being this big, this size, I freaking love that. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you're interested in this unit, we do have amazing prices year round. Go to generalrv.com slash Cash. I've linked the website down below or call 844-969-4033. A member of my team will be able to get you the absolute best price in America on this RV or any RV, any time of year, guys. Remember, we do sell RVs 364 days out of the year, right? Right. With that said, mm -hmm. if you do live in the Ocala area and you are looking to purchase around the end of February or in the March or even April, move your plans, come to the Ocala show. That is March 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. We will be there Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with special Ocala's Matt's Cash to get everybody the absolute best deal. Will, what say you? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. We can't wait to see you all at the Ocala show. It's going to be a great show, and we're so excited.
Well, what were you saying? We're so excited to meet all of you at the Ocala RV Show, guys. Um, we'll be there and we'll be handing out Matt's cash. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike about this unit. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. And make sure you guys subscribe to Will and Jen. Hold that camera up. We're going to make a video about three things we love about the GoPro and three things we don't like about the GoPro. Today it's not good. Thank you so much to T-Mobile and Apple for coming yes. through with the backup camera. And Will, we'll see you next time.